How, do, how should scientists think about move fast and break things? Like if you invest in the company that accidentally creates a CRISPR plague, we, we have some trouble. Yeah. Uh, so I think, I think that's where the core science matters a lot, right? Like we fundamentally, in our case, uh, we start with the science uh, first, right? We really want to understand what's, what's going on, who's behind it, who's actually got it. So most of the companies that we back, the founders that we work with, uh, this is their life's work and their advisors, it's their life's work as well. Uh, so the, the expertise around a particular area of knowledge, uh, you know, they, it is at the, the edge of what humans know, period. Uh, and, and it's an extremely hard space to operate in. Uh, and just as scientists, you know, from an ethics standpoint, uh, everybody does the best that they can with the tools that we have. So be mindful of uh, what are the consequences and what are the outcomes or something that uh, they are constantly thinking about. And something we also look for uh, deeply, we care about deeply for the founders that we support, right? We want founders that are thinking about this. That's part of their, their driving mission is to really understand the potential unintended consequences of what they're building and the drivers of why and, uh, and all these things. So yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, other things to worry about, it's very difficult. It's very, it's very difficult, I wouldn't say, it's for almost impossible to know what the potential unintended consequences might be for enabling technologies that we have now, right? It's just like talking about social media and internet addiction now, uh, where you know, it was not obvious necessarily, you know, 20 years ago, or maybe all of us on the open source side that that, that would be the case. 